What's up everyone, Lethal Concept here, so yeah, we are back with these people. Um, I'm actually going to go through it, uh, well, with Jabberwatch and... <laughs> uh, with Jabberwatch and Deep Dog, they <laughs> kept glitching around. So we are with these people again, because this was the only group that I could actually find with Gold Match. So this will be the second, quote, or maybe the first, ATZ playthrough for the Turin Soldier. It is wave one, yes. I didn't miss that much. <coughs> miss, miss the first wave, which is fine. Anyways, with the Turian Soldier, there's not much really to say. You're just like a very far power heavy class. Maxing turbocharge for duration because you got a lot of clip size, as you can see, 88 and 32, and that's even more with dump heat. You're gonna be shredding stuff and you also wanna be firing as long as possible. Obviously Indra is for more long range, and the cyclone's just shredding stuff at close range. You do have two frags, which, while it's not, while it's not very powerful since you didn't actually max them, it's actually still decent to actually uh, hit enemies and bounce them around cover. Oh no you don't. No you don't. As you can see here, I can start hitting them around cover. Like if he stayed in cover, he would have gone hit by those. Hit by those grenades is what I should say. Also, if you didn't know, if you move, if you start moving left and right against nullifiers, you can actually sometimes dodge their shots, which actually you can see what is what I started doing. Because I knew that that uh, nullifier was going to shoot at me, so I started moving left and right to dodge some of those shots if I can. Now, it, it, it doesn't work guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. So don't think it, you, it'll work all the time. It works sometimes, which is, which is enough for me to use it, basically. And like, even with having, I'm just too late to switch weapons. No, uh, Cyclone would be better, but I had Indra out already, so I might as well use it now. Now it doesn't work, as I said, it doesn't work all the time, it works sometimes, which is enough for me to try and use that. Enemies clear. Stay alert. Some ammo, as you can see, I'm just killing stuff through whatever, whenever they come. <coughs> now, will the Turian soldier be good on Platinum? Mm, I'm actually not that quite, I'm actually not that quite sure. Because while you do do a lot of damage, you don't have a lot of good ways to clear AoE. And obviously, if they're all firing at you, just peeking out and shooting would probably be a problem. So, you know... Don't want to peek out because I'm... that is a turret, which I can actually still shoot at, which is kind of funny. Oh, I see an observer on the left, so what I want to do is not even bother shooting by getting to cover. Not next to that, though. Definitely not next to that. Uh oh, I think it's actually. Oh, 
My friend uses the Chroma missile. <laughs> Team Dog, the one that got stuck on the previous mission. But as you can see here, doesn't matter what ranges you have, you can still pretty much tear through, through stuff. You don't have to worry about reloading that much because you've got the large clip and then when you have no ammo you can use turbocharge to actually refill your ammo. Obviously, I'm always playing a bit balls deep there. Obviously I was too close to the nullifier to be able to dodge <coughs> because at that range that would have probably hit <coughs> have hit me no matter what I do, especially because I have fortify on which will slow my move as well. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm still <laughs> laughing <laughs> at deep dog. But um, I did talk a bit about what I thought was gonna happen in platinum. Or what I was interested to see. Seriously. I wanna kill this observer really fast before I No! Whew. That was close. That nullifier hit me so that I would I will actually was out of cover because I was quite quite stunned. Actually I wanna stay on this edge. I don't even care, Observer for me is still the biggest threat. As you can see here, even though I was about to reload, what I can actually do is stop reload and then start firing as you can see. I'm trying to reload but I can actually uh, stop it. And it and it helped there because I was able to kill that observer, which is what I really wanted to do. So I, a lot of people like camping around back that at that spot there, but if you can actually kill enemies, what? Down. Wait, what killed me? I was killed by a destroyer, huh? Three left. Well, the, it was that destroyer there, obviously, since it's the only one alive. But how did it hit me when I was all the way on the top? Like, as you can see there, I did actually get hit by that destroyer shot there because Nullifier pushed me out. But thanks to my extra ranks and Fortify, I didn't actually get down yeah, by it. But yeah, I was up here, I did jump, but it was like right below me and this should have covered me. Wow! A lot of bullshit. But um, I like staying up here. If you're a class, that you can actually reliably kill things very fast. Then I would actually advocate to stay up here and start sniping things out. As you can see there, I actually dodged the uh, nullifier. What I'm actually going to do here is bounce those grenades to actually hit the nullifier in the back, as you can see. Because I don't want to... Well... The destroyer is obviously problematic. There's no doubt about that. What? 
that creature gone? It's obviously problematic to destroy, but nullifiers left unchecked all the way in the back, they also pose a problem as well. What I can actually do is do that to actually get rid of all the turrets as well, make it easier for my team. That's way too down for me, can't aim at that. But as you can see, there's not much turn in terms of mechanics, like, say, the human soldier we got priming weapon with concussive that detonates. You just got pure raw firepower. Now, you don't have to use a close range weapon and also a long range weapon. You can also use just a general all purpose. want to use stick to cover with this build? <coughs> oh no. And also, I this means that the destroyer shoots at me as well and doesn't shoot at my team and also gives us that little bit of extra time to actually deal a bit of damage because I'll be safe because obviously I'm going to go into cover but also they can be safe as well since you know the, tur the turrets aren't hitting them the blast isn't aiming at them they can also get free shots because the destroyer is standing out in the open unintended effect. I was moving left and right and I also dodged that nullifier shot. Wasn't intentional because I just was doing that a little shimmy for the hell of it. But it, see, it helps to actually uh, do some of those things. Right, I can actually see that breacher so I want to like try and kill that breacher to actually not have it go after my team. Do a bit of damage there to see if it hits anything. Uh, that breacher behind me is not important. Oh, no, it, it had to be breacher. Observers don't hit you. Range, I mean melee range and stagger you. Had to be a breacher or an assembler. Now I should be safe here from that blast if it was aimed at me using the cover. I should switch over the cyclone here, okay. Much better decision to use cyclone at close range. That's definitely not aimed at me. The most ineffective way to take down a destroy is hitting it from the back with a weapon. I do use grenades to obviously sometimes hit things that because they're fluff damage so what I want to do is I want to use them before a fire or after a fire so that they kind of so they're not in the way of me firing does that make sense it probably doesn't does it okay as you can see here oh no you guys do not None of that. None of that either. <laughs> Little floating assembler that reminds me of Deep Talk's Adventures Through the Sky. <laughs> Get 
sorry if I'm not commentating as much as I am usually doing. It's just pretty straightforward with this kind of playstyle. I am up in front because I'm a, I am a bit tankier. As you saw, I tanked that destroyer shot even though I got shot out of cover with that nullifier. But also I have a sniper-esque weapon which means I can start sniping things like this and actually cover my teammates pretty well as well. So I'm in front because I can shoot things before they come towards my team. We do have a bit of time so I want to kill one of the observers before I go for this objective. And I'll switch to my high fire power weapon. And we got the full extraction, and there we go. So really just... With my human soldier playing a kind of... Combo with a still... With still a very strong weapon, I wanted to have a class that had just the pure raw firepower. And this is basically my Turin soldier that I used it for. Excuse me. Maybe I should put a more in-depth video about the planet but yeah um this is this is just my pure raw firepower turian soldier thanks for watching everyone and i hope to see you guys next time see ya